Hello, and welcome to the final episode of this season of Bounty Hunting. So, in the last episode, when we left off, we still had to do the interior of my large halberd submission. So, that's what we're going to start things off with. I didn't really know what to put up on the higher level over there, but I couldn't lower the floor because the AI box is directly underneath that section. So, I decided to make like some kind of stage area with like a nice little fancy table on it, like a perhaps like a judging table, I guess. I don't know. But I also was building this room kind of to be similar to like a ballroom. I don't think I've ever been inside a ballroom in, in real life, so uh, I was just basing it on some random pictures that I found on Google Images. I still have to go through the room and put like stuff on the walls, like maybe paintings. So let me know if you have any ideas for what I should put on the walls or other like decorations I should put in. I'm thinking about putting like mannequins or other stuff. I guess I should do that because a lot of campaign ships have that. But uh, I saw this nice spot on the side where you could put a door. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting a door in place. This is right behind one of the, uh, or the third secondary cannon on the, on each side. So yeah, just put a door in, and then I also put a window above, which I kind of cut out there because the footage was bad, but hopefully you can forgive me on that one. But uh, yeah, we're just using the decorations to make a nice window frame, and I'm copying the style of, but I can't actually copy the uh, actual decorations from the other window because this window is a two block tall, and one block wide, and I don't think... Any other ships in the Onyx Watch have windows like this, so I wasn't able to copy it directly. But I did uh, try to mimic the style by putting in the like gray frame around it and then putting some like cross pieces in the actual window itself. I thought it looked pretty good, and then we are on to working on these doors that are like way up in the ceiling of this other room. So I'm just putting like floors and like railings and catwalks and then on this top section I'm adding like barrels and putting like something to hold them back so they don't roll all over the place. We got like material canisters there and I didn't really talk about the chandeliers earlier but I'm pretty happy with the chandeliers. I've just got like the decorative chains going down to a neon light and the neon light is mimicked with a like mimic sphere that's really shiny and then on top of that is just like a regular alloy pole. At the reference photos that I saw in ballroom dancing rooms, I guess, there were like all these wooden chairs on the sides, so I made sure to put lots of chairs around the edges, I guess, for people to take breaks. I, I don't know, I've never been to a ballroom dance ever in my life. Um, anyway, so we're going to the front of the thing now where we've got this kind of weird awkward spot, so I'm just trying to like hide where the awkward wood turn into metal thing is, and then, uh, and then that is it. This is it. This is the end of the series. This is the end of the boat. So this is a final tour of the uh, back, going up into the into the entrance, into the inside. So we got a nice octagonal table. We've got our ballroom. We've got our lights. We've got our chandeliers. And then heading out the front portcullis, you can see the back of our favorite dual-axis Onyx Watch anti-aircraft gun. And that is it. That is our large halberd that I'm going to be submitting to the Keeper of the Lore. But don't tune out just yet because we still have to put some finishing details on the small version, which is coming in just a moment. But before we get there, I wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who has supported this series. I've only been making From the Depths YouTube videos for like a month now, and uh, I've had a huge amount of support. I've gained like 10 times the number of subscribers. I Like at the beginning of this month, I only had I think like 40 subscribers, and now I am almost at 500. So huge thank you, by the way. And uh, now we're gonna get working on the other boat. Last time I was looking for suggestions on what I should do in the center of the eight barrels because it was kind of a dead space. And someone suggested that I put the Onyx Watch logo and I kind of wanted to do that, but I didn't really know how. So I tried making it out of like metal plates, just like decorative with the like, yeah, like that. But I didn't really think that was good enough. But I saw on the massive Onyx Watch ship, which I'm blanking on the name of, the Stronghold. Inside the stronghold there's a bar, and inside that bar there's like a carpet, and on that carpet is the Onyx Watch logo, and I was like, that's what I that's what I want. So I went, I spawned in the stronghold, you saw it floating around in the back there, and then I basically copied it over. I copied over the carpet as well, so you can see I'm making like a flat circle to put it on, and then I made the actual logo in there. Now you can't set it to fleet color, so I had to actually like manually input the color, which is what you were seeing there. Then there's this awkward spot just on the side of the gun, uh, where I where it was I just kind of left it blank earlier, but then we just filled it in. 
And then the last thing to do on this ship was just to add in the detection. So uh, there I am adding some detection. We've got the passive radar with a radar, um, what do you call it? Radar scanner on top. I forgot what those things are called. Radar trackers. They're radar trackers. Yeah. And then on the back, we're putting more radar trackers. And on the left side there, I put a 90 degree radar. So if we're broadsiding something, we can detect it. And yeah. And then at the very back, we're just filling in the with some mimics the pillar that's at the back to make it nice and smooth. And that's it. That's pretty much it. We're good. We're all finished. So this is the small version of the Halberd. A uh, little fly around to see the spotlight on top, and everything up. And now we're going to look at it shooting some stuff. One very valid piece of feedback that I have heard time and time again during this project is that the rotating gun, especially the quintuple turrets, they're all very silly and they're never going to be accepted into the game, people say. And I don't know if it is or not, to be honest. I'm trying to make it fit the rules. but. I don't want just any ship in the game. I want to have something that I'm, that's unique and that I'm proud of in the game. If my goal was 100% just to get the boat in the game, then you're right. I should not have this rotating gun. And in fact, underneath the rotating gun, I even left space for myself in case I decide to build a proper gun in the future. But when I think of my favorite from the Death Ships from the campaign, I don't think of the Lance. Okay, have you ever heard of the Lance? Neither have I. I had to go look it up while I was recording this video just to name a random ship. I think of things like the Coffinail, things like the Megalodon, things like the Singularity, things that are unique and have unique concepts. And that's what I want to do with this ship. I don't just want a boring, forgettable ship in the campaign. So, yeah. If I'm trying to get it into the campaign, I'm not doing it right. But I'm not just trying to get into the campaign. I'm trying to have fun while doing it. I do kind of want to apologize for missing my upload last week. I unfortunately had a horrible storm come through my area and it damaged some stuff that I own, which was a big pain in the butt. And then my roof started leaking directly onto my computer. So I have like a bucket on top of my computer collecting water, which is uh, great. Uh, if you know anything about computers and water, they're great friends. Um, so yeah, and then I got horribly sick this past week and could not even get out of bed. So I've had a pretty rough couple of weeks, but I have a few video ideas in mind that I want to make over the next few weeks, but uh, I also plan on making more bounty hunting episodes in the future. Although next time I think I'm probably going to limit it to just one, maybe two episodes per bounty submission. I really enjoy the back and forth that we've had with the comments in this season, but I also feel like maybe just one like 45 to one hour long video would have been better than a whole bunch of different parts at all different lengths and so in the future I think I'm gonna try to just put one bounty hunting episode per bounty submission and probably try to aim for 30 minutes to an hour or a little longer than an hour if necessary that might mean I'm not able to upload a bounty hunting series episode every week, but that's okay because I have some ideas for other videos, including my multiplayer challenges, which if you're interested in seeing that, please go watch it. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, which would be really awesome to hit. And if I get to 1000 subscribers, then I can be monetized on YouTube. And that would also be really helpful to me and help me keep making videos. But. The flamer is just around the corner and we all know when the flamer drops that there's going to be a ton of From the Depths bounties. So stay subscribed and keep watching the channel because I'm going to be making more videos and we're going to be submitting more ships. Thanks for watching and if you haven't seen my April Fools video there will be a link in the description.